Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to our channel where we are talking about ISTQB certifications. Today I bring to you a latest update from the ISTQB where ISTQB has thought about something great for our game testers as well. It's very really proud to see that ISTQB is pretty much worried about adding more and more certifications for everyone in the industry who are trying to perform testing and giving them a certification as a recognition to be a better professional themselves and showcase their ability to the entire world. Today we bring to you a new set of certification which ISTQB has recently introduced and that's called as game testing. And it's really a great news for all the game testers across the world who would be happy enough to take up this certification and add something to your portfolio. It's really important that every single type of tester when it comes to speciality, for example, when you talk about mobile tester, security tester, usability tester, it, they must be recognized for all their practices and professionalism when they work in the industry and ISTQB has pretty much taken care of all that detail and somehow they come up with a very advanced very competitive syllabus to help every individual to be certified and showcase that yes they are certified in terms of being recognized globally and work with any type of industries by showcasing their skill set. Now recently, before game testing, they introduced AI testing, which is active now, and people can look forward to artificial intelligence testing too. But right now, we are talking about game testing, so let me take you with a quick tour of what exactly game testing certification would look like, which is greatly in a beta version where the team of experts are busy setting up the syllabus in detail, reviewing it, reviewing the mock papers and the exam structure. So today we are just kind of giving you an overview and here's the news that okay the product is currently in beta review so people cannot take the examination right now but they can pretty much understand that what could be the outline, outline of this examination. So here on this page you would pretty much found about what exactly uh, the expectation is and here many people can go ahead and understand that who can be a good candidate for this particular certification. The number one thing, of course, we are talking about the game testers in core. So if you are someone who is into any kind of game application testing, be it about Candy Crush, be it about PUBG, or any sort of application which you are building up as a game platform, you are one of the audience here to take up this. And it's really good to see that the its labels consist of a lot of details here and helps everyone understand that game testing is equally worth when working in an industry and as it is trending these days as people are more freaking about having a game and playing them so we certainly have to take care of the game testers too so this certification will be called as city game all right that is certified tester game but it is notated as game me right so which is more of like g a m e as a notation in the acronym but exactly stands for the game. On the other hand, the syllabus consists of seven chapters talking about several aspects of game testing, talking right from this beginning specificity of the game testing, which talks about the game testing basics, typical roles of the game development tem team, and uh, testing activities throughout the game software development cycle. Of course, they have their own specific process to deal with preparation of a game software and testing right so the development life cycle has alignment of the testing activities which is pretty much taken care as a part of the chapter one the chapter two will talk about the mechanics that how exactly uh, game mechanics work here like testing the game mechanics there is a standard approach which you may follow in order to test the system in nutshell you pretty much know that game is tested by playing it but of course it's not an easy job to play the game within the given timeline and finish all the levels with point of testing and uh, release the game right so certainly there is a game mechanic involved and you will be looking forward to understand that approaches to testing game mechanics because there are unique approaches to talk about you know testing a game in particular so you would be taught about that as well more importantly, the segments of game include several parameters and we are talking about graphics and sounds. 
So the two major parameters of game is, of course, the view, the picturization, which we call it as graphics, and the sound effects, which you certainly get in sync with those graphics, right? When you perform an operation, when you click on a button, or maybe perform an activity, the sound should be exactly the same. So here also, graphic testing chapter will cover about principles and concepts of game graphics, approaches to testing graphics in a game product, graphics test executions, and tool support for graphic testing. So here if you see uh, tool support has been introduced at the end of each of the segment, that means it's just not no longer a separate chapter and you need to understand how tools can assist you in different set of activities throughout the game testing life cycle. Also the next chapter talks about the sound testing and here we include the topics like features of the sound content of the game product, types of defects in sound content, approaches to testing sound content in game product, and again, sound test execution, tool support for sound testing. Further to add more, the game level testing is more about the different levels, how you play and how you get different powers, different abilities, and more and more access to different kind of you know access levels which you have. So certainly at each level when you play a game, you get more superpowers depending on the type of the game but yet important to see that whether tra transition happened when you move from a level 1 to level 2 or level 9 to level 10. So here again you will have some topics including game level design principles and concepts, approaches and execution of game level testing and the tools supporting the same. The next concept is about the controllers which are differently the soft keys or the joysticks if you're connecting a hardware device like playstations uh, and trying to play the game then how does IVR kind of you know interaction works with these wireless devices or IOTs etc right so we will be talking about that here in this chapter or the that includes further to add like principles and concepts of game controllers approaches to testing the game controllers and tool support for testing the game controllers so again putting it all together you certainly have lot of things to be taken care of when it comes to the game testing and we look forward to cover that. Finally localization testing which certainly allows you to talk about uh, giving the personalization feel within a game as you have the settings involved and the settings can certainly allow you to personalize your uh, avatar in the game or sometime even you know dress up accordingly or even you know localize it the way you want it in terms of the environment, the theme, and a lot many other factors. So here we'll be talking about the principles and concepts of localization testing, types of localization defects and their causes, localization testing approaches and execution, and also tool support for standardized uh, localization testing. Now this is where it helps you to understand that what could be our outline of testing the game all about, so being a newcomer to the game industry or if you want to build your career in game testing, further you can take up the certification too. And those who are existing game testers, anyways, that's going to be really helpful for everyone here. Trying to add more about the prerequisite and the exam structure, the prerequisite remains the same that you need to be foundation level certified to take up this, this certification. It's a criteria to go ahead and take it up the foundation level even if you are a game tester for years together. You just can't take this examination because it's a, f a specialist level certification and without the foundation you cannot take this up. On the other hand when it comes to the exam structure you will have 40 questions to be answered and all of them will be MCQ. There are no subjectives at this level. Total points possible is 40 that means each question is going to carry one mark and the passing criteria remains the same which is 65 percent of 40 and that's 26 or more the time length will be 60 minutes to answer these 40 questions which is pretty much just like the foundation level if you have already appeared if not will you will be appearing for and uh, as usual you'll have some 25 percent extra time if your primary language is not english the countries where the primary language are not English have the benefit of availing extra 15 minutes on top of 60 
to answer this examination because the examination will be in English. So that's pretty much what we have as of now provided with us. We don't have a detailed syllabus available yet. We don't have the mock papers available. So all these section on the right will be filled up with that information once the beta gets over. And soon, pretty soon, the team will be able to take up the game testing as well. So just wanted to come up and share with this particular information with all of you. And I hope you certainly tried understanding that, hey, the game testing can be really helpful for all the game testers. So calling out all the game testers to look forward to ISTQB again. And uh, we got something new for you. So you can get certified and look forward to be a more better professional yourself. So that's all from this particular video team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.